Hello there, it's Sandy Alnock with a classic colorway for the holidays and a bunch of projects that I made using it. Our whole design team for Ellen Hudson used this for the release, so if you want to see a lot more ideas with it, go to the Instagram hop and check it all out and notice what colors everybody's got going on. I used all wrapped up to make a really sweet card with this stamp. It's all one stamp, the bear, the penguin, the packages, the sentiment, all of it is just a one and done. I use stickles for all the lights. I airbrushed the background. You could do that with inking techniques as well as creating some shadows and did a little masking in order to make the shadows appear. Copic coloring for the packages and then the pop popped panel on top has stickles along the bottom. So that's lifted up and then the card base is the part that sticks out at the bottom. Really sweet, fun card. This one is called Sending Holiday Cheer. It has lots of sentiments in it. So if you're looking for big sentiments or little sentiments, there's one that says this is your obligatory Christmas card. Just kidding. If you're a snarky person, you might want to check out the sentiments on some of these. And you see the stars in the background here. These are from last month's release. The snowflakes are from this month's release. So I combined the two of them for some of my projects. So I used them on a number of the things you're going to see. There's a fa-la-la background as a script. And this card is a little different for me. I don't really usually do grungy types of things, but I wanted to use this colorway and show a whole different approach to it. So using the khaki and the red and the black, masking out the two parts of the sentiment so I can get them in two different colors, adding in some of the stars and snowflakes, some inking on the card base as well as on the card front and just letting it be kind of grunge. It's fun sometimes to just try a totally different style than you normally end up doing. This stamp set has the quote from Elf. So if you're an Elfster, you're going to want to sing loud and clear for all to hear. And I'm going to be using this stamp set and a couple of these others next week. So stay tuned for that. Holiday Sprigs has both the positive and the outline for a bunch of different holiday floral types of things. If you saw last month's release, there was a long skinny tag in the farmhouse set, this one, and those sentiments fit on that. And I combined it to make another pyramid box. I, I did one for the fall season for Halloween, and this one would be for Christmas. And what I did was just do clear embossing on red paper and used all of the sprigs on that one. So that was kind of a fun little treat box to make. There's more stitching dies. There's a stitched arch and a stitched hexagon. Now, which one do you think I used? You only get a few seconds to guess before you see. Bum -ba -dum -bum -bum -bum. Yes, the hexagon, of course. <laughs> I love hexagons. And I stitched it this time using a double thickness of black cardstock so that I could use twine for the stitching. It's a little hard to get them through the holes, but I did make it work. So instead of using thread, I just used twine. Cup of Cheer is a stamp set that I'm probably not going to use a whole lot because I don't drink and most people that I am sending cards to don't drink. But I did do one card with it so you could see a way to color them. If you want to go to the blog and see how I handled the bottles, you can do that. Background is from my Holiday Interiors background class, which is on sale this month. All the holiday classes are on sale right now, including the brand new one that you probably know about already. Sweet Surprises. This stocking, if you mask out that top portion of the stocking when you stamp it, so stamp that first, then you can make all the rest look like they're inside by masking out the forward part of the stocking. So here you can see as an example, I masked out that bottom section so that the, the little critters would be inside. And then I used a close-up version of the fireplace from the Holiday Interiors class and made that into a just a nice close vignette type of card. Now I also did a bunch of tags and these have doodling on them because I've just been in a doodling mood and you know me, I love my white pen. So I wanted to do some white pen doodling. And what I've done is add the stars and the snowflakes in various combinations. I found that the stars underneath of the snowflakes tended to work better. I was going to layer some of the outline stars and the, just a whole different collection of them. You can see I went crazy with my die cutting, but
but now I have lots of pieces that I can use to add to other projects. So if you get into a die cutting mode, then rock on with it and then use a white pen or a black pen, whatever you want to add some details onto some of these. It was really fun to do that, especially on the snowflakes. And it was just a nice relaxing thing to just sit and doodle on each one of these and create interesting patterns. You could do really tiny ones that feel very detailed, and you can do ones that feel a little looser, a little more simple, like that up, one in the upper left is just a few dots, but it's just enough to make it sing. You could also use stickles or perfect, per, uh, not perfect pearls, those pearl drops, whatever those pearl things are. Yeah, those things. You could use those as well and make yourself a set of great tags to use for your packages. These would be great on craft wrapped packages, wouldn't they? Wouldn't they be beautiful? All right, that is all I have for today. Go see the Instagram hop if you want to see more in this colorway because everybody else is using it too. And you can see stills of all of my cards over on my blog. I'll see you guys later. <laughs>